Welcome back, my lovelies, to episode 8 of our Starbound Banyan Tree Let's Play. So, we've done a lot um, upstairs uh, recently. We've um, pretty much got an entire tree up there, for God's sake. But now I think we're going to pay attention to stuff that we haven't looked at in a long time. The roots. Yes, I mean, look at this. I mean, a tree that large. What's that? Oh, what's that down there? Oh, it's the bottom. Oh, gotta be careful. Well, a tree that large has to have an extensive root system. So I thought it'd be a good time to actually extend that. Just close the bloody door. Already the root system, which we actually, um, I think we, we, we put the root system together as it is at the moment on the stream that was the prologue to this series. Uh, that was very slow going. Um, but yeah, we, we are going to finally continue that and um, extend it in both directions and put in a room or two. Um, I've been looking at... Do, 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 get up in the air. I've been looking at the pixel printer for some good furniture. And I reckon, well, this catches my eye just here. Saloon stuff. Because we haven't got any kind of saloon stuff um, here at the moment. And we can... Uh, what is it? I think it might be a Nova Kid that we attract. A Nova Kid in a, in a hat. Um, and we, we're all about hats here on the Banyan Tree. So, right. I don't know where the saloon's going to be. It might even be in the water itself. Um, but for now, let's start extending the roots. Um, I deliberately made it go smaller and smaller here, but I want to make it big again now because we're going to make this go on for quite a while, I think. And yet again, it's going to be fairly organic, so we're not going to spend too much time being really pedantic about the placings of things. I mean, this is, this is going to go quickly. Uh, torches, I suppose... Mm. I've never really been happy putting torches up because it always looks like, um, well, a bit... Oh, God! This happens, doesn't it? Yeah, whenever I take out the background, this is going to happen. Well, I think we're just going to have to suck it up. And because we're not going to drown. <laughs> so, if I just do that as we go along and not worry about it... There's a drain up there, so that's we're not going to flood out the bottom of the tree itself. Uh, okay, so this is going to take a bit of time, but not not too bad. Um, so, I think, for now, well, let's concentrate on actually uh, aiming at a room. So, this will not be the saloon. I think, now I've said it's going to be underwater, I think that's a great idea, and I'm not going to hear anything against it. So, we'll do that in a bit. We'll probably put it there. We'll make it maybe linking the two bits of root system. So, we need, if we're going to have another... Hang on, let's have, let's have a, a bit more of a path down... Oh, God. All the way down here. In fact, actually, let's... Um, do 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 Let's actually put in a bit of the wood, so we're not know where we're going. Do 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 do. Round here. Be careful. And the background, the wood will be also in the background. And don't want to waste too much of this. Oh dear, that's, that's not ideal. Uh, mm, mm, mm. Oh, that's piss. Right. This is oh, this is going to be oh, this is going to be so annoying. All right. So, a yeah, straightforward room. Make it rectangular. May as well. I don't like being underwater. Everything's sluggish. Well, let's see what materials we've actually got. I've just had a bit of a clear out. Lots and lots of wood. Um, it is just kind of wood stuff, isn't it? Wh ruins platform, ornate platform, wooden brick bridge block. Mm, just not very much of any of it, really. I'm always tempted to do a, a roof. Not quite sure how that would work with the whole water situation. Uh, hmm. Well, I'll have a think about that. And for now, I'll be putting in this. Across here. And here. So I'd like to put, put in the background so we can clear out some of this water, but I still don't quite... I don't know what material to put in the background here. I may have to go and find something. It does occur to me that we haven't really gone on the island theme at all with this build, have we? We've just stuck entirely to the tree. So, I th I reckon, here's what we'll do. Um, go to blocks. We'll go down to... We picked up so much sand doing all this mining out that it makes sense to turn, turn a lot of it into sandstone blocks. Now, we get a lot out of this. Um, so, I'll... Ooh, let's see. We'll, I'll just make absolutely loads of this. And then you can convert that um, even further into temple blocks, which require sandstone bricks. Um, just simple temple blocks. Oh, there's, oh, there's normal temple blocks, which also requires sandstone bricks. Unfortunately, now I've just... Um, oh, carry on. Bloody crafting mechanism. There we go. Now... What was it, was it that? Sandstone bricks, or... Nah, fine, it's whatever. Right, so let's convert it into... 
Temple bricks or simple temple blocks? Well, let's make some of each. So, hang on, how many? This is going to get ten. We'll we need quite a bit of this, I think. Yeah. Some of that. I think some temple platform as well. Not a huge amount of this. And we will get some simple temple bricks, bricks as well. How many did you get per this? I was ten. Yeah. That'll be enough for now. Unfortunately, I've got no room in my inventory, so it's all scattered all over the place. Let's delete some of that, some of that, and that, which we so painstakingly collected in a previous episode. In fact, let's put all these up into there, so we know what's going on. I just got rid of the wood, that's probably a mistake. Uh, hang on. Where's the other temple blocks? Oh, I've lost them in my inventory again. Oh, there they are. That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Right, now we just need to put some wood up there, otherwise we will go a bit spare. Oh god, it's, that doesn't fit either. What did I even do there? Huh, whatever. Uh, oh, I see. Yeah, well, never mind. Oh, just sod off. <laughs> My inventory's too full. Right, okay, let's get on with this. I will actually have to make some more dr Oh no, it's going to be dark as dicks. Damn it. Uh, right, okay. Which of this is going to be background? It's going to be... That is going to be the background, I think. This is not going to go very far. Is it? No, when we've run out already. Okay, let me go and craft some more. This is more like it. Got stuff for days. Uh, okay, so the route's going to go down there, but I, th I think we're just going to block this off. So nobody's going to be able to come down here ever. So tough titty if you're expecting to come down here ever, which I'm sure you were. And now I've just made you cry. Ha 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 ha! I'll shut up now. Don't worry. Right, up we go, and down here, uh, oh, hang on, down there, and like that. I really should put a drain at the bottom of that. I doubt I've got any drains still. Oh yeah, I've got two. Right, so that's going to, yeah, that's going to fruitlessly attempt to drain the entire ocean, but it's not to do with it. We don't have to worry about it, because we are going to block it off, as I say. We're putting in simple temple blocks. Oh, there we go, look. Buy everything. I'll put a torch down there, for no particular reason. Uh, oh, need to take that out to continue the wood theme. There we go. Uh, this is all sodded off as well, isn't it? Well, what I'm going to do, I think, I'm going to leave the wood around the outside here as well. I'm not quite sure who we're going to attract into this temple area. The door is going to be kind of there, I guess. i put the wood in there. And like that. And we can put in the background. And what am I using for this? Yes, yeah, I think I might be using a different colour. What am I using? Sandstone bricks? Um, I was going to use temple bricks. Ah, yeah, well, sorry, I've, I've used more sandstone bricks, so it's, it seems a bit fruitless swapping everything back again. So let's do this. And yep. So furniture. It'd be nice to have some temple theme stuff, but I don't know. I'm not sure if, sure if we've really got anything like that. Let's do it like that. And a little bit of extra stuff here and here. And this is going to be our room, so it does mean that we can seal this lot up. Up here. Oh dear. Oh, he's, the water level is slowly decreasing. Hey, look! And here is... Oh, it's, it's gone back up again. Oh, it's found its level. <laughs> Let's get all this stuff down here. So, let's do something about that. Let's put in the the words. I don't know how far to the right we're going to go with this. Probably start to... Well, we'll make it... We'll go down here. I want to be able to actually get down to the ocean. In fact, we may even make this ocean access um, corridor route thingamabob. So, if we kind of go around here. And so just to make it so we've got a nice area to work with. And there'll be some sort of trapdoor or... Hmm. Might just be a basic trapdoor. But I don't want to get... Uh, to let all the water in each time we open it. So I have to think about something. How to actually sort that out. And uh, let's take out the background. Uh, right, so... So I just need to work on all this. So let me just put all the wood in. I'll be right back with you. Look how atmospheric it looks now. Yes! Um, all torch lit. Maybe we'll keep the torches. 
Oh, hang on. Drain. Drains everywhere. <laughs> yeah, it looks quite nice. Although that needs a touch down there, I think, as well. There we go. So we can see all the way down to the roots. So I've got us we've got ourselves a thingy bob here. Now I was gonna do a like a uh, um an, an airlock, um, but it turns out I don't really need one. I think it's possibly because there's a drain literally just there. But that's okay, isn't it? It's not perfect. I'd rather keep it shut than keep it open. But I think for now that'll do. So we will need something to make it a bit easier to get it up. Yeah, let's um, change to... Let's get, let's get the wood coming just down here a bit more. Sort of like that, and like that, just for decoration purposes. And it just means you can sort of use that as a thing. But just to finish it off a little better, I'll also put some of our temple platform in. In fact, maybe... Maybe sod it. If we can just find the right button to press. I've lost all the wood now, hang on. I just realised I haven't got any wood in there. In there. Um, we can just put it down so it comes like that. Like that. And also... Yeah, that's no good. I have to put... Oh, that's really difficult. <laughs> Never mind. Well, I'll put in like that. That's something, at least. And we put in... We'll put that wood back in. There we go. <laughs> a waste of time. I kind of like want to put in a bit more... Uh, temple platform stuff for stairs, but I'm not going to get too bothered about that. And by the looks of it, I need to actually do a bit more wood here, because the sand is busting out all over. There we go. Across here, up there, and there. Need a drain? Although, I mean, by the, once we've actually um, done this, I mean, there's never going to be any water coming here ever again. So we're not going to worry too much. But I just like to make sure that the roots are nice and dry. So, we need something for this room then, I guess. Um, presumably we have no furniture whatsoever of any use. No. So, we need something temple -y. Maybe have a... Maybe... Oh, I've got an idea. We can use some of this stuff, the trap. And this might not actually prove, prove very useful. That's just... If I touch that, it hurts. So, probably won't touch it. Maybe I shouldn't put an NPC in here at all. Maybe it should just be a little nasty room of nastiness. <laughs> Actually, that's don't need that drain there anymore. Um, hmm. So we'll put in one more temple block there. So you can stand there, but move any further to the left and you're buggered. Oh, I think I will put an NPC in here, but I will need a door. I don't think we've got any temple type doors, have we? Well, no, we've got bugger all. We've got a portcullis and a German steel door. Oh, for now. Which means I'll never get around to changing it. I'll put in those. Need to put in a bit of... Mm. No. <laughs> uh. but, but we could have a, just a, like a basic guard, I guess. Um, which means putting in those things. Put in a rather daft... No, <laughs> maybe not that. We'll put in a nice one of them. And an hourglass. Hmm, maybe. Maybe not. I'm going to get rid of that. I'll put a lantern in. Yeah, that's all very charming. Presumably this will just be a generic guard of any race at all. A glitch. So we're getting a lot of these glitches. Anything else we can put in. I might change that tenant at some point. Um, well, you can stay down here and guard whatever you want. Um, right. Oh, god damn it. Hang on. That is a Annoying. I think I left that spitefully as a as a thing on stream, but I think I will get rid of it. Uh, sorry, lad. Sorry about your um, new house. Put in a torch, if I can just find the button. There we go. And it's imperfect, but it'll do. So I'll just seal that up. And there we go. Shouldn't have taken that drain out, should I? <laughs> Although it seems to have put out the coals. Huh. Didn't know I did that. Oh yes, it's wiped out the wiped the coals completely away, and also my candlestick. In fact, I'm I'm in mind to leave that as a nice little plunge pool, so you can get. In fact, let's take out that. There's no point in that anymore, is there? There, 
A nice source of water underground for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Right, I need, I need to actually start doing the other side as well. This... Mm. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Not quite sure what that interaction was all about. But yeah, we, we need to get onto the saloon soon. But first, I just want to kind of like get the measure of what's going on here. There, one quick excavation later. I've also built another little temple room. Again, we're just going to stick in some rather basic stuff. And put, put that there, I think. And an hourglass. So we know what time it is. Medieval desk. Um, doesn't really fit, so let's put in some platform. Put the desk on top of that. And we haven't got a chair or anything. We'll put a sack in the, in the sort of basement. And we've got just enough room for a tenancy agreement. Yeah, pretty much as expected. Another glitch guard. Um, enjoy your little bloody... <laughs> your house under the water. Uh, right, okay, so let's actually start to make a saloon bar under the water. So first of all, I think we might want to seal ourselves from the the outside, well, the outside world, the inside world, um, and then we'll actually breach like so. So we need a kind of, well, we'll start with um, some more temple just to get out here. In fact, for now, we'll do this so we don't end up sinking to the bottom. We could do with another door on this side as well. So, well, okay, we'll just make it kind of go into this bit, I think. Oh, look, there's water. I was going to make, oh, this must be a bit which I forgot to actually do the, huh, the, the roots on. Okay, let's, let's root this up. Like so. I'm going to take out the background as well. All this. I think he's looking a bit nervous at the moment, and rightly so. So let's just quickly cap that off uh, before we do any more. Uh, that goes down into there. So this is just another dead end, which we're not going to actually use for anything. But always good to add those little bits of detail. Have I got any drains? Yes, I do. I'll put a drain down there. We will again try to drain the entire ocean. Sisyphean at best. Let's get rid of all this. Oh, but there's a bit of, a bit of sand background there. And, well, we need we actually need to dig this out a bit more. Like so, just so we can actually put in some proper ass um, background. So, yeah, this is not going to be wood, I think. Up to up to here will be wood. And then from here, it, I suspect, we could just do more temple stuff. Just trying to work out what's the material to make the actual saloon out of. I suspect it's going to be, well, let's, actually, let's make it out of glass. Um, that we can have a, like a goldfish bowl saloon, um, which I think would be rather fun. Where's me? I think I might have used up all my temple stuff. Right, well, so it's getting dark, so I'll go back to do some crafting, I think, whilst the, um, we wait for the night to end. Also, we need to get some furniture for the saloon. Um, I've got a mini fridge, which we'll need, I think, because we need to put something in the saloon. Um, well, we need to put some beer in the fridge, I guess, if we can actually get any beer. Um, I've already made a, bit, a few more temple platformy type things. I was wondering if I maybe should um, make some something else as well, it's like... Instead of just having it temple, maybe you should have it a bit more... Well, if we're going to have it glass, I think we should have something whitish as well. So, silver block, make as many of those as we can. Now, this takes a bit longer to craft. Then we need to go back up to the pixel printer to actually do the saloon stuff. Uh, where was that? Well, actually, we we'll also should do some door stuff, shouldn't we? Oh, frontier door. Yes, definitely need that. That's very saloony. Um, is there anything from here? I think there's loads of stuff in here. This is the this is where the most of it is, isn't it? Saloon bar. Make possibly two of those. We've got enough cash, I think. A few of these. It's taking a while. We need a table, at a few tables. Probably four of them. Right, anything else? Could Maybe if there's some lanterns for, for the saloon. I think that might be useful. I think we've only got one. Other. Oh, saloon light! Ha, huh, loads of them. Good. We are going to attract such a Nova kid to this. Uh, we do need that. Announcement intercom. Actually, there's loads of decor. Oh my god, there's loads of this decoration. All right. <laughs> this is going to oh piano and saloon sign. Did I actually get the piano in the end? I'm not sure if I did. Let's do another one. Can't have too many pianos. And there's there's some artwork which I've used before, but. I don't think I'm going to be able to find that. 
Um, st standard issue fridge. Huh. All right. Okay, so back underwater again. So we need to actually make this a bit silvery, I guess. Uh huh. Probably actually need the temple platform after all. But it's it's there for now, so we don't fall in. So let's have it kind of here-ish. Although we don't actually want the we want actually we want it to be a saloon door, don't we? So we'll just have this silver corridor, the um, the magical silver corridor, and put in the background just more silver. Might put it in a window or something, but not too urgent. Might as well get rid of that. Across there, across there, and then it'll turn into wood, I guess. I like that. I like that. Um, well, we do. That's that's a really, really tiny gap, and I think that's a bit silly. Um, but we'll we'll work on that later on. Uh, okay. So for now, now we need to do. Well, it's going to be a the glass saloon. It's going to be very strange. This. Um, so well, if if the is the whole background going to be glass? Hmm. Well, we'll see. I'm not sure how much glass. If the glass will actually be enough. Yeah, hmm, might work. Let's have a look. If the actual glass itself will go up. Another I don't really want a bloody glass dome. Um, I don't know what we'll do. Right, here's what we'll do. Get rid of all them. We'll make it silver up to about here. In fact, we'll we'll make a little bit of domage like that. So it's going to have like a glass top, but not a full-on dome. No, that's, that's no good. Like that. Across there. And then like that. Uh, match it on the other side properly. So it's four, and then... Hmm, that's not brilliant. And then the glass itself. Uh, the background is, background is also going to be glass. Hmm. Like so. Grab all that. And then we can extend this down across here. We can take all that out, including the coal. Take all the crappy background out. Like so. And across like that. And hmm. I won't I won't get rid of that until we're all sealed in. Oh, here we blimey, that's oh there. That's them getting rid of a lot of the water. So I suppose that the water can go down through this platform, but it can't get back up again. Huh. Oh, it's, it's oh I don't like the fact that it's um hang on. I might cheat here a bit. And just do that. Just so it feels like the water is coming all the way around the dome. And um, it's not ideal. But I just want to make it so it feels like the um it's in front of the, all this water and everything, rather than just um, taking its place. So, do I make this go down? Do I? I feel like this should be bigger, you know. And also, don't like the. I really don't like this um, platform. I think I'm gonna have to replace it with actual floor. I did it on the other side, didn't I? Oh, <laughs> almost ran out of jump there. And a bit more across here. I can feel safe now for doing that. Although I probably will, definitely will, put in a door, an additional door, I think. Hmm, that's, that's a bit awkward, isn't it? Let's get rid of that. Like that. And then this is going to be like an emergency additional door in case things flood. Also, it helps divide things off a bit better. So, I think the saloon should kind of go down a bit, so let's put in... Oh look at that! That's actually adding to the water for some for whatever bizarre physics reason. I think that should safely. Oh, it's not even. Oh, actually, it is actually flooding a bit. Uh, but never mind. So how do, how far should the salute? We'll go down to about there, I think, and cross there. I'm going to run out of silver block any second. Ask. Oh, it's a good point because I don't actually have any more silver blocks. So, make the most of it. Turn that into glass, I think. 
so we can look down at all the mysterious fish. Such as him. <laughs> Hello. You're the most exotic and exciting. <sighs> Let's leave it to it. And then we can take all this out as well. We will need a drain, if we've still got any of the buggers. One. And we need some platform. Um... Well, it'll have to be Temple Block. There's some silver stuff, but never mind. We do kind of like want it to be vaguely saloon-like, though. We don't want it to be too futuristic looking. Although I think that's, that ship has sailed, hasn't it? All right. Okay, so we put in a bar. Oh, it's gone dark. This is not enough room, is it? We'll have, we have to have a second level, I think. And it's going to be a, a dual level bar. Oh, yes, okay. Yep, and cross here. We need some light in here, don't we? Well, we've got saloon lights to come. So, let's put in a bar on the... No, actually, let's make the bar on the bottom level. So we kind of, like, need some shelving in the background, I guess. Ornate flooring. Hmm. Not really. Some kind of wood. I think I've got rid of most of the wood. Wicker. That's no good. So we just need the, this is going to be the back of the bar, basically. We, we would just like having some basic stuff like that, actually. Um, unfortunately, I will need to take out some background, which will mean the place will flood temporarily. And there we have it. There's the, the lower bar. Uh, now, on the upper land landing, we have some more furniture. We have... Well, we need a piano. We can put the piano there. There. And... Let's see, what else have we got? We've got lots of these tables, so... I'll put in a... I'll put these in my hot bar. And I think we only fit one bar, proper bar in there. We've we got eight chairs, that's good. Right, so... Put in a chair there. Table there. Chair there there. And across on the other side as well. Like that. Um, so is there any other... Oh, there's a saloon sign, isn't there? Oh, that looks cool! Huh. And now we just, I guess, need a tenant to polish the glasses. Oh, hang on, it's not going to work. Mm, there's, there's no door on the right-hand side. Yep, the room is now secure, and we can actually add a tenant to our saloon. So this should, as I say, be a Nova kid. I think I'll put it... Yes. There's, there's some space here, so let's put it there. Yep! Is that a Nova kid? Oh, is it a... Yeah, he's a Nova kid, isn't it? It's not... Yeah, that's right. Nova kid in a... in a... in a cowboy hat. Cool, so that's our little saloon. Yeah, it looks okay with it. But once all the furniture's in there, it looks quite cool. However, we really want I really want some bottles here. Um, is there anything let's just put some other furniture in as well, because there's that gap. And I don't want a gap. It's that small wooden crate. Yeah, that'll do. Some storage. Just gonna put Oh the fridge! <laughs> put it on top of the there. That looks a bit peculiar. It feels like it should be next to the bar, this. Um yeah, okay. Probably don't need those. No, actually, <laughs> God damn it! I will put what I'll put one in. I'll put the fridge on top of that. I kind of like the idea of doing that. Yeah, all very nice. I've got um, almost no food in there because I've, I've I put a fridge somewhere else in the base. Hang on, that's annoying. Why isn't he running up the stairs? That side he does. And that oh, God damn it! And on that side he doesn't. Hmm. Okay. Maybe it's something to do with the placement of those, then. Never seen that happen before. So, if I move these just, like, one block to the left... Uh, I've lost my start. There you are. And... Right. Ah, oh, there we go. How peculiar. So, I'm not quite sure you can actually craft bottles. Um, if so, you probably would have to do it at the pixel printer. Um, yeah. I'll, I'll go and have a look. Why not? I think I built quite a bit in this episode. Rarely used elevator. Remember when I was going to have elevators everywhere. Actually, where am I going? I don't need to, don't need to go up there. Uh, shout out to Slippy B. I've moved his sign. <laughs> uh, okay, so... Bottles. Is there... 
I can't imagine there actually is. I, I'm, I thought I might have scanned some at some point, but I'm not sure technically that you actually can get bottles because they're smashable things. Look about a plant in. Oh, a picture stand. Oh, a cowboy. Hello. Never seen that before. Oh, that's definitely going in somewhere. Uh, well, this ain't bottles, but it might be something. Sewer tank. <laughs> let's put in a. Let's put in that. And oh, there's another fridge. Bloody hell, I've got fridges for days. Delicious banana. Uh, well, I'm not on a survival character, so that's absolutely pointless. Uh, just double check the food thing. Oh, it's a foraging table. This isn't a food preparation um, thing. Ah, fuck it. <laughs> Who cares? Right, let's go down. Back down to our lair. Ah, oh, look! Look, the ape has come for a drink. Well, there is no bartender, apparently. <laughs> it's rather unfortunate. And put in... <laughs> yes! Uh, um, right, now for the, um, now for the cups. It's not quite what I wanted, but it'll do, I think. Uh, <laughs> don't put that in. Right, so where can the cowboy sign be? It's actually quite large. Hmm, well, there's no room. Unless I put it on top of there, but that looks a bit strange. Uh-oh, where's he? What happened? Oh, never mind. I know what we'll do, we'll put it here. Da -da 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 -da. Like that. And... There. For literal oh god, <laughs> literally no reason whatsoever. But it uses up some of our stuff. And No, don't keep putting that thing <laughs> I mean for some reason I'm I'm determined to put that somewhere. Stocks? Is that really thematic? Hmm. I know I'll do I'll just put put into the box there. We like our boxes. Cool. Oh look, there's some some of that furniture would have been useful. Nah, fuck it. Don't want a high lottle anyway. Ah, uh, right. Okay, so that's it. Um, oh, well, you've come up here. Get back in, into your bloody CD saloon. <laughs> okay, so that's it for this episode. Uh, we'll pick, it, pick this up again in the next episode, where we are. I suppose we're going to start drawing this series to a close, actually, because we um, the tree is pretty much complete now. So all to the good, really. So yep. So um, subscribe for future episodes of this and a lot more besides. And I'll see you next time.